We begin tonight with new allegations against San Diego County Supervisor Nathan Fletcher. Uh, three days after withdrawing from the race for California State Senate, a new lawsuit accuses him of sexual assault and harassment. Fox 5 Sarah Legre starts us off live outside the county administration building to break down these allegations. Sarah. Andrew Misha, yeah, there's been a lot of talk surrounding Nathan Fletcher this week, and now we have this lawsuit. Now, he responded to it all today. He admitted to the affair but denied the allegations. Here's a look at how it all played out according to this timeline. New allegations unveiled Wednesday after a Superior Court civil lawsuit surrounding the county supervisor and now former chair of the MTS Board of Directors, Nathan Fletcher. The lawsuit claims Fletcher sexually assaulted and harassed a 34-year-old woman who was a public relations MTS employee at the time, but has since been fired. Laying out the timeline of their interactions dating back to May of 2021, where Fletcher began, quote, frequently viewing her social media and paying close attention to her during both MTS board meetings and conferences. Later in October of 2021, Fletcher reportedly started commenting on Instagram stories with hearts, smiley faces, and fire emojis. Then on Valentine's Day of 2022, according to the lawsuit, Fletcher approached the woman in a parking lot after an MTS press conference, wrapped his arm around her shoulder without consent and mentioned her social media, later direct messaging her that day that it was, quote, nice to see her. The lawsuit contains several screenshots of messages between the two, where Fletcher also reportedly indicated several times that he was home alone without his kids and wife, former state assemblywoman Lorena Gonzalez Fletcher. Then in May, the woman said Fletcher asked her to visit him at his hotel where he was staying. This screenshot shows the messages between them over Instagram, where Fletcher says he's, quote, I'm feeling a bit impulsive, asking her to arrive after 10 when his security guards would be off. When they met at the hotel, the lawsuit claims Fletcher made advances, put his hands on and kissed her. Now, later that year, the lawsuit details at least two other instances where Fletcher touched the woman both over and under her clothing after an MTS meeting. Then in February of this year, Fletcher announced his candidacy for a seat in the California State Senate. Now that same day, the lawsuit reports the woman was fired without warning or reason by MTS. The woman says she tried to settle the claims privately with Fletcher, but he threatened her career and reputation, and this past Sunday suggested his intent to sue her. Hours later, he publicly announced his withdrawal from the state Senate race, citing post-traumatic stress, trauma, and alcohol abuse. Fletcher admitted to the affair but denied the allegations, releasing a statement that reads in part, Last year, I made a terrible mistake engaging in consensual interactions with someone outside of my marriage. I have not done the things they are alleging, but I did violate the basic trust and loyalty of my marriage and set a terrible example for our children. Now, it is also worth noting that MTS is also listed as a defendant in this civil case. Now, we asked them about the allegations regarding the former MTS employee and that abrupt firing. They did not wish to comment on the issue, but they said uh, that they are conducting an investigation and that last night Nathan Fletcher did resign from his position as chair. From here on out, Stephen Whitb Whitburn, excuse me, will hold that seat for the coming days. For now, that's the very latest here downtown. Sarah Legre, Fox 5 News. All right, Sarah, thank you for that. Lots to unpack and still lots of questions surrounding this. We appreciate it. Thank you very much. Meantime, San Diego County Board of Supervisors Chair Nora Vargas issued a statement about the lawsuit saying, quote, as chairwoman of the board, I am committed to ensuring the everyday work of the people of San Diego County moves forward. I will follow the facts of this legal process as it unfolds. And the vice chair of the board, Tara Lawson Reamer, also released a statement expressing her confidence in the board and leadership and focused on moving forward. Supervisor Joel Anderson has no comment, and we're still waiting to hear back from Supervisor Jim Desmond. And with Nathan Fletcher once again making headlines uh, for the second time for a notable story this week, our Phil Blower joins us now. It's a closer look back at uh, Fletcher's career here in San Diego. Andrew and Misha, before he got into San Diego politics, Nathan Fletcher served as a counterintelligence human intelligence specialist in Iraq with the Marine Corps. The 46 year old came to San Diego after leaving a job with the state Republican Party when he was only 25. He got his start in the North County political scene while serving for two years as the 50th district director for embattled GOP Congressman Randy Duke Cunningham, although Fletcher spent more time away from the office on active duty. It was in 2008 when his local political career really took off as a 
Republican. He represented the 75th Assembly District until 2012. And during that time, he authored key pieces of legislation, including Chelsea's Law, which clamped down on violent sexual predators. In 2011, he ran for San Diego mayor, starting out as a Republican, but switching to independent when the local GOP endorsed another candidate. In 2013, as a Democrat, he filed his mayoral intentions again, but came in third. Finally, in 2018, he ran for the District 4 seat on the County Board of Supervisors and was victorious. He was elected as chairman in 2021 and successfully ran for re-election in 2022. His professional experience includes working as a security consultant and a development expert for business. He was also appointed as an adjunct professor at UCSD, taught political science classes, and helped students there with their public policy projects. Misha and Andrew? And worth noting, you said he just got reelected, so it's another four-year term mm -hmm. on the Board of Supervisors. Some people have been calling for his resignation today. Well, we heard for, from uh, Shane Harris, uh, who's a local activist. Yeah. He, he definitely did. I mean, the other day he praised him for seeking treatment for what mm -hmm. apparently is PTSD and alcohol abuse. But today he sort of said, you know, maybe this is what he should do. Okay. A lot more to learn here, certainly, as no uh, the facts come out. Phil, thank you very much.